Hi there, my name is Emil Grafstra. I'm the founder of Dangerous Things and I'm a double RFID implantee. I first got my first implant in my left hand in 2005 and since then I've been working on different technologies and now I have uh, developed the XNT fully NFC type 2 compliant RFID implant tag. And NFC means uh, near field communication. So near field communication is used to standardize certain uh, RFID tags for use with mobile phones. Um, tablets and other things with NFC readers in them. So you can use NFC to be able to uh, unlock your phone or share uh, contact details with someone or share like a Facebook URL or a YouTube video. Um, you can use NFC to move apps back and forth but the primary use is uh, to be able to program a tag with a, a URL or information you want to share. So I use my implants to get access to my house so I use it for access control solutions. I get into my back door every day after I get home I use it to get access to my car, so I can unlock my car and get in. Uh, I can also use it to log into the computer. Um, I also use it to share contact details with people. I also use my implant to uh, access an old uh, freight elevator that I converted into a micro data center. Uh, the freight elevator is kind of a cool idea for a data center because it's very tall and you have this natural heat convection system, but uh, it presented some security challenges. So. I had to have a mag lock installed and, and then attach that to an RFID reader. So I use it to get into the building as well as unlock the, uh, the old freight elevator uh, door and then open that up and get, get into the data center that way. So back in 2005, I was doing a lot of IT consulting for medical doctors and I met a guy named Dr. Mark Spencer. I brought this to him and uh, he thought it was pretty cool. He put it uh, in my right hand. So for the campaign, I figured, uh, why don't we follow up with him and get his thoughts? When Emil came to me to ask me if I'd help him out with this RFID project, I, I was very intrigued. Uh, I've known Emil for a long time and uh, I was uh, impressed with the idea, uh, the utility, potential utility for it. We remove foreign bodies from people, such as uh, items such as this, metal, glass. Quite frequently, and it's just a common procedure. I was impressed with the device itself, but it didn't look like it would be very likely it would break, uh, which is another reason I was comfortable uh, working with AMO on. So, you might be asking yourself, okay, I want one of these things, but how am I going to get it in my hand? Well, Dangerous Things has started to partner with uh, professionals around the world, and uh, we brought on Dana Burnage here as co founder because uh, he's an expert in uh, body piercing. Um, so tell them a little bit about the, the partner network that we're building and, and why it's important. The Dangerous Things Partner Network is a uh, professional body piercing and body modification services referral network for Dangerous Things customers seeking to find a safe and reputable uh, practitioner to install their technological modifications. Yeah, it's really, it's really important to be in a safe, clean environment. And uh, you know, if we have a professional uh, that's near you, that's great. If we don't, then uh, definitely approach your, your favorite kind of local piercing professional and uh, we're, we're game to give them uh, piercing guides, uh, video examples of the implantation procedure um, and, uh, and talk to them on the phone to kind of bring them up to speed. So uh, as long as there's a professional in your area that's willing to engage, then uh, we're, we're there to support you. The place that we chose on the face between the thumb and the forefinger at the middle of the hand is a very uh, soft spot in the hand and easily accessible. There's not much uh, in there that will cause problems between the skin and the muscle. And so was, I thought it was a very safe place. You can easily see what you're doing and feel what you're doing and uh, it's easy to keep track of the device uh, when you're placing it. So we had four prototypes made and got those to beta testers. A few of them got their thoughts back to us. Let's take a look. Well, I went in to the piercing shop and uh, the chip itself is basically just a little grain of rice. Um, the piercer came in, um, you know, sanitized my hand, cleaned it all up. And it's basically a very little needle that went in through my hand and uh, deposited the chip and then back out. And that was it. I have a very tiny scar that will probably disappear over time. but. Very simple, easy process, um, didn't really hurt at all, and uh, two weeks later I don't even notice this there anymore. I have a Nexus 4, and it's completely stocked, doesn't have to be uh, 
modded really at all. Um, I use it for basically just unlocking my phone. I've always been really interested in technology and um, you know that to, to be able to have something that's a permanent part of you, um, you know, it's, it's like having my car keys. Hi everybody, my name is Ken. Um, I am an Android developer and an avid NFC enthusiast. Uh, I've been one of the first people to get a chance to try one of Amal's new NFC implants and I absolutely love it. Um, I got it done locally, implanted locally, and it was a relatively painless process. Um, the actual healing time itself was less than two days, no stitches involved. You can barely even see the scar on my hand anymore from where it's at. Uh, it's that little tiny pink dot right about there. So it's very tiny, very uh, inconspicuous, and I've had absolutely no issues with it. I mean, I, I still work out. Um, I, you know, spend, I spend a staff every once in a while. Uh, it doesn't affect my flexibility there. Um, I've had absolutely no negative downfalls or negative consequences from it whatsoever. Um, but I have had a whole lot of really awesome things that I've been doing with it. Um, so. As an NFC app developer myself, I've done quite a few interesting little apps. Um, one of them is called Taggy Hue, which turns NFC tags into light switches for Philips Hue bulbs. So, I'm gonna scan my tag my hand, and my lights go out, and then scan it again, and they come back on. So that's just one of the really, really cool things that I've done. Um, I also use it to unlock and lock my, my phone. I have an app called NFC Secure that creates an NFC lock screen. Uh, and what better way to make sure that you always have your key on you than to have it in your hand. I mean, I've tried a lot of different NFC types. Um, I have an NFC tag on my keychain. I have an NFC ring. I have NFC cards in my wallet. I mean, I have NFC everywhere. But the one that I generally use the most is the one on my hand. It's always there. It's the easiest to find. Um, I don't have to go digging around to, to find my hand. Hopefully not, at least. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I absolutely love it. Um, just recently at the barbecue, we had Big Android Barbecue. There were badges. Our badges this year had um, NFC tags on the back, and when you could you could scan another person's NFC badge and connect with them on Google Plus and it would show up on the app and all that and I cloned my NFC badge onto my hand so instead of having people scan my badge they would scan my hand to connect and it was really cool like people had never seen anything like it before um, I mean I I think that everybody uh, should uh, at least check it out um, there's really no negative downfalls um, the, I mean, even the tenderness went away within like a day or so. Uh, I mean, I left for Burning Man two days after I got my implant done, and that's a pretty harsh environment, um, and it, it stayed fine, no problems whatsoever. So, absolutely uh, one of the coolest things I've ever done. Thanks, Maul.